Are you looking for a way to get your local networks without cable TV or a live TV streaming service? Then you probably already know that an over-the-air antenna and a standalone DVR like an Amazon Fire TV Recast or a Tableau model such as the Dual, Light, or Quad are an ideal way to watch local channels without cable. In this Tableau DVR review, we're covering the new Tableau Quad over-the-air DVR device that we purchased and have been testing. It has a one terabyte hard drive included and four tuners. Our Tableau Quad review will cover setup, features, and guide experience. We'll also do a quick high-level comparison with the Amazon Recast, which we also have, to help you decide which of these two digital video recorders might be best for your home. All right, first, why might cord cutters want a standalone DVR like the Tableau Quad? I mean, what is this thing and why would you want it? If you get your local channels through one of the live TV streaming services out there like YouTube TV or Hulu Live, and you use the included cloud DVR to record content, you probably don't need a Tableau. Yeah, it's not cheap either. The Tableau Quad we bought cost $220, so it's definitely an investment. But it comes with a one terabyte hard drive, which allows you to record a lot of content. Tableau says that works out to about 700 hours of high definition content. Tableau has a number of models that cost less. Some have just two tuners and others connect to just one TV rather than broadcasting to other TVs on your wireless network. The Tableau Dual Lite has two tuners and lets you connect to your Wi-Fi network or just directly to your TV and costs $150. After looking at all of the models, we decided to buy the Tableau Quad for a few reasons. First, we wanted something that would be comparable to the Recast, which we have. And we wanted a model with an internal hard drive because we didn't want to deal with buying and connecting an external one. We also wanted a good amount of storage capacity because we watch a lot of sports and we wanted to be able to record and keep multiple games. Let's take a closer look at the Tableau Quad, including what comes in the box. You get the Tableau itself, an Ethernet cable, and a power adapter. Looking at the back of the device, it's pretty simple. On the left is a coaxial input. This is where you screw in the coaxial cable from your antenna. Next to that is a little blue reset button. To the right of that is a USB port, which you can use to connect an additional external storage to expand your hard drive. Next to that is an ethernet port, which you can use to connect the Tableau directly to your internet router. On the far right is the power cord input. Now setting it up is simple. You just connect a coaxial cable from your antenna into the back of the Tableau and plug in the power adapter. If you buy the quad with the included one terabyte hard drive, you don't need anything else to start using your Tableau other than the app. We found the easiest way to set up the Tableau for the first time was using a computer. You want to go to my.tableautv.com, click begin setup and follow the on-screen prompts. We found the process took about 15 or 20 minutes. And although we had just bought the device from Tableau directly, it arrived to us out of date. So we had to install and update during setup. We really feel like it should have been current out of the box. Yeah, anyhow, once your software is up to date, you'll be prompted to connect your Tableau device. It will update and reboot, which took about three minutes for us. Then the guide data will download. Now we had to wait about 15 minutes for this process to complete. We then told Tableau where to store recordings and we connected the antenna. And then we performed a channel scan for our local networks. Tableau found 23 channels. Then the nice thing is that you can go through and select which ones you want in your guide. After that, you're ready to install and start using the Tableau app on a smart TV or streaming device. We tested Tableau on our Roku streaming device so we could see how it performed watching locals on Roku. And as we showed in that video, it was pretty easy to install. You just search for the Tableau channel in the Roku channel store and install and open it on your home screen. But the Tableau app is also available on Apple TV, Fire TV devices including the Fire TV Stick and Fire Stick 4K, laptops and smart TVs running an Android operating system. Once you launch it, you'll see a grid guide and options on the left side to filter content and adjust settings. You can scroll through your guide and go up to 24 hours in the future with a basic subscription. More on that in a second. Now you can click on anything to watch it or record an episode or an entire series. And you can use your Roku or Fire device remote to operate all the Tableau controls, which is nice since the Tableau Quad doesn't come with a remote. 
Some Tableau models, like the ATSC 3.0 Quad HDMI, do, but the one we bought doesn't, so we need to use our streaming device remote to navigate through the Tableau Live TV guide and other features. Now, over on the left, there are additional options within Tableau. You can watch live TV, of course, but you can also easily access your recordings by clicking that option. Then you can further filter content by primetime, TV shows, movies, and sports. You can also view scheduled recordings and access your settings over on the left. Within settings, you can adjust many things. You can choose to turn the blue LED light on or off. We have ours set to on. You can change the recording quality from standard definition to high to determine how much bandwidth you use for recordings and when watching live TV. As Tableau says, choosing a lower setting will use less storage and reduce buffering. Now you can also choose to turn on surround sound and enable features like fast live TV startup to launch the guide quicker and automatically skip commercials when possible. Within scheduling settings, you can choose whether or not you want to record duplicate episodes by choosing either record all or record new. And you can choose when to start recordings, how many to keep and what channels to record them on, which is nice because you can choose the channel with the strongest signal for your recording and ensure a better viewing experience. You can also choose to extend recordings by a few minutes or hours on live events to ensure you don't miss anything that runs longer than scheduled. Clicking Channel Lineup allows you to filter your channel guide and rescan for channels. You can also choose to enable the Skip Commercials feature, which will remove commercials from your recordings during playback. Yeah, and that's a really nice feature, but it is not included for free, and that's something that you need to know before you buy a Tableau. All Tableau DVRs come with a free 30-day trial of their TV Guide data service and premium service subscription. But after 30 days, all of that goes away. A basic subscription costs $5 a month, $50 a year, or you can buy a lifetime subscription that transfers to other Tableau DVRs for $180. If you don't buy that, after 30 days, you'll only be able to see programs 24 hours into the future instead of 14 days. And all of those awesome content filtering options like movies and sports will go away. You also won't get series info or be able to record by series or set advanced recording options like starting recordings a few minutes before or extending them after, or be able to watch live local content when you're away from your home, such as on your laptop, computer, or device. Tableau also offers a premium subscription that costs an extra $2 a month or $20 a year. That is the subscription that allows you to skip commercials during playback. Beyond that, though, watching live TV in Tableau is nice. Clicking on anything in the guide brings up details about that program and options to watch now, record the episode, or learn more detail about the show. Now, it will take a few seconds for the program to air, which might feel a little longer if you're used to cable or a live TV streaming service. We actually had to wait about 13 seconds during our test. Clicking the down arrow on your streaming device remote brings up other channels and what's airing in screen, which is pretty nice. The viewing experience from a computer is really nice as well. From my.tableautv.com, you can click on the top left menu to see all of the same options as you would on your TV. And you can navigate easily through the live guide to find something to watch or record. Clicking on any title brings up options to play, record, or learn more detail about the show. And here we didn't experience any lag between pressing play and the show launching. So that's the Tableau Quad. But before we go, we wanted to talk about a Tableau model that's designed to accommodate ATSC 3.0 broadcast signals, because there have been some questions about it. First, what is ATSC 3.0? Basically, it's a new broadcasting standard that will allow 4K over-the-air broadcasts, interactivity, and other improvements over ATSC 1.0, which is the first-generation digital signal that stations began broadcasting years ago. ATSC 3.0 broadcasts are already live in a number of cities, and Tableau introduced the first four-tuner DVR with ATSC 3.0 support on all four tuners recently. That model was supposed to be out by now, but it has been delayed to do a decision by broadcasters to begin to encrypt their ATSC 3.0 signals by summer of 2022. Current ATSC 3.0 tuners without something called DRM embedded won't be able to pick up ATSC 3.0 signals. So Tableau has been working to get that feature installed into their ATSC 3.0 DVR. 
Some people are worried that the move to ATSC 3.0 and DRM encryption means they won't be able to get their local channels through their antenna without paying for them, but don't worry, it doesn't. Broadcasters are including the DRM encryption to prevent piracy of their content, but the key thing to remember is that they must keep broadcasting in the ATSC 1.0 standard as well for at least five years. So even if you buy a non-compliant DVR like we did, it will still work for at least five years. Now finally, before we go, we want to give our thoughts on how the Tableau Quad we tested compares to the Ford Tuner Recast from Amazon. It also includes a one terabyte hard drive and costs $280 at time of filming. There's a two tuner recast that retails for $230. We think that while the features that come with the Tableau are nice, if you don't pay to keep them, you're left with a very slimmed down DVR that isn't as integrated into your streaming experience as what you get with the Fire TV recast. The recast itself is bigger and more expensive than the Tableau, and you need a Fire device to use it. But if you already have one, we think it's the better device for your money. And if you have an Alexa, you can use it to open, watch, and record live TV. You can even use it to change channels, which is cool. We reviewed the recast in depth, so you can watch that video now to learn all about it. Let us know what you think of the Tableau Quad or any Tableau if you have a different model. How do you feel about the new ATSC standard? Which OTA DVR do you think delivers the best user experience? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.